my fragrance rotation for the week. Super, super small rotation. I got stuck a couple times on some fragrances. That happens from time to time. So I'm going to show you what I wore, kind of how it reacted for me, and where I wore it too. So, started off the week with Evening Mystique. You get a little bit of a boozy note in this one. The iris. There's a, there's, there's a lot of notes in these. This one, people are requesting that I continue to wear it to work. Even, uh, even my customers and people that are outside my job right now doing the Salvation Army bell ringing. Like, I will, I walk past the lady. I just left the gym. Sorry. I just left the gym and... She says, hey, like, I know you work here. Tomorrow when you come in, like, can you wear that other one you wore? Referring to this one. This is Evening Mystique. This one's a little bit stronger. This surprised me when Ross came out with this, because Ross doesn't really dabble too much in, like, risque stuff. The stuff he likes tends to be a little cleaner. Not so much, um... Not so spicy, not strong, but this 25% oil concentration, I believe, 25 or 24. Um, this one lasts. This one's good. You don't need that much of this one. Um, I'm upset because I dropped the bottle and chipped the bottle a little bit. I don't know if you all can see that right there, but it is what it is. Beautiful fragrance. Um, I also yesterday I wore a pretty heavy fragrance. I wore Alhara Main's Amber Oud Rouge. Um, this is a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. They say the x straight, but I tend to get more of just the regular Baccarat Rouge out of this. These two I did not. Well, I wore Evening Mystique to the gym sort of by mistake a little bit. A little strong for that one. Now, these other two I wore during the day also, but I also wore them to the gym, so this is going to be Zaharoff's uh, Signature Rosé. <sighs> One of my favorites. I sold it and rebought it, and put it that way. One of my favorites. Not a jammy rose. People always, when I, whenever I post about this one, people are like, Oh, did you ever, like... Or do you pick up on the oud in here? A little bit. But it's not a super medicinal or, or animalic spicy oud. It's more just to provide a warmth to it. <sighs> Claude Deer is an absolute genius. Just by taking the cap off and not even spraying it, it's filling the room up. <laughs> um, or it's just stuck in my nose. Either way, I don't care. I like it. I wore this to the gym. You have to dial this one back because it, it's very soft. But um, it comes after you. like, And when you think this one is dead, when you think it's gone, it will come back after you. It's a long-lasting, very pleasing scent. I absolutely love that one. It's still stuck in my nose. And if y'all know, I sprayed the... Alharmane's Amber Oud Rouge right before that. And the Zaharoff is like creeping in there. Now, also to the gym. And for daily wear, I wore Mugler's Angel Man Ultimate. It's kind of like a fresh coffee vibe. Um, this is probably more for the summertime. Um, but I wear what I want when I want. And. Ah. There we go. These atomizers are terrible. But I don't want to cut the thing. So, um, But this is super weak. Very fleeting. I only get maybe two, three hours out of this. And it's gone. So you're going to have to refresh with this one. But this is like an aquatic summertime coffee um not real strong 
has a little bit of warmth in the coffee, but it's very fleeting. Kind of some sweet, I want to say kind of candied sweetness, but overall, that's just something that you, you want to smell a little different. You can wear it in the winter because of the coffee note. Well, you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want, but because of the coffee note, it does a little bit better in the winter. I would stick the fall, spring with that one. Summer, maybe I would not in the winter, but again, I wear what I want when I want. And this one was only to the gym. This is um, Paris Blues Traveler X. This is the $10 Aqua de Jeu. Atomizer sucks. And I believe there's some oak moss in here. Because I'm picking up on oak moss. We're going to look right now. But in the very beginning. But that quickly fades. What are the notes of Traveler by Paris Blue? Here is information from Parfumo. No, there's not. It's bergamot, cade, juniper, lemon, ginger, cardamom, chocolate, amber, apopanox, patchouli, and cedar. So maybe it's this patchouli that's kind of giving me an earthy note. Um... But then very quickly, this turns into Aqua de Jo. Within a few, maybe two or three minutes. And then for the rest of the fragrance, it's Aqua de Jo. Maybe Profumo or Profondo, because of the spiciness a little bit, but... Um, it's very reminiscent of the OG DNA. It's my, what I wore for the week, my weekly fragrance rotation. Later.